hello folks sorry we didn't do any filming on the way in uh, we were looking for a spot where we we're going to wander off into the bush somewhere where it wasn't too dense and try and find a spot to camp and uh, came across a four-wheel drive track that came up to the top of the hill with an awesome view across the Mary Valley so doing a little bit of a stealth camp here but you know leave no trace mentality so we'll leave the place as we found it hopefully a bit tidier because there's a bit of crap around here so it turned out instead of being a backpacking trip we've got the car right next to us there's a turnaround spot up the top here it's quite windy up here um, I'll talk a bit louder because we're into the wind now hopefully you can still hear me so bit of a rough bit how you're going plough point shelter and because of the wind being quite strong we've strung up the centre and the windward side we bought the DD hammocks 4x4 because my brother-in-law in -law is with me on this trip he's over there making a stool for himself there's a pile of broken up concrete blocks here I don't know how they got here and there's a, somebody had a fire in the middle of it because of the wind and we only need a small cooking fire so we've made just a small little fireplace here and there was a piece of uh, reinforcing mesh shaped in the just the right shape to put over the fire and put my Alton Goods titanium grill on We've already had a cup of tea, we've spent the rest of the time messing around trying to make ourselves a stool something we saw on Cold Cracker Bushcraft failing miserably at the moment, this is our <laughs> second attempt but uh, we'll let you know, if we're successful with this one we'll make another one so we've both got a seat had I realised we were going to be camping next to the car I probably would have thrown a couple of chairs in the car anyway, plenty of room uh, I'll just put my ground sheet down. I'm about to blow up my Alton Goods airbed. So there's loads of room in there for the two of us. And we're pretty sheltered from the wind in there. That ground sheet has not moved since I put it there. Do a little bit of a look around. Probably can't see for the sun, but it drops off. Drops off down the hill there, reasonably steep. There's a... Uh, Depending on who sees this, somebody might know exactly where we are. The carving on the tree here. Whatever that means. And there's a bit of a walking track. A uh, little game trail or whatever runs down the ridge line there. So we were running out of time and decided to start setting up camp before it got dark. Tomorrow we might go for a walk down this trail and see what's down there. And we might also pack up camp and go somewhere else, seeing as how it is a long weekend. So that'll do for now. We'll get back to you a bit later. Well, I just put the drone up and got what I thought was some nice footage and the sun had already gone down I brought it back down, went to show my brother-in-law the footage it's supposed to be in the cache on the phone there was nothing there, so I formatted the card I'll try again in the morning so this spot is not somewhere that you're actually meant to camp but people obviously have before and we intend to leave it at least as clean as we found it we're not lighting the fire till dark we're just having a small cooking fire it's pretty dry around here the winds dropped off quite a bit which is what we were hoping for and we'll just have a listen to the birds it doesn't seem to be a lot around here but have a listen see what we can hear That's a funny looking bird over there making me a stool.
drops off pretty steep down here. Absolutely no shortage of tinder around here um, and dead wood as far as the eye can see pretty much is just deadfall everywhere. Very easy to get a fire going but I'm just using flint and steel and uh, a cotton uh, makeup pad and just to see how it works a bit of that uh, man-made uh, wax wood that I bought so we'll prop the camera next to the fire when I light it up not sure if there'll be enough light but I'll have my headlamp on we'll see so this is us for the night it's very pleasant here now Well, we heard gunshots earlier. There's some farmland down in the valley, so I don't know who was shooting or what they were shooting. Thankfully, nothing came whistling past us. Are you making me a bar stool? That looks awfully high. You're, yeah. try you're trying a different method, are you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, lift your butt up so we can see this other stool, that, the one you're sitting on. Put the towel on there for a bit of extra comfort. So yeah, three sticks lashed together and then you put a loop around between each of the three legs. Twist it before you put it over. And then you feed sticks through the, through the twists. And uh, also cut notches to stop the light, stop the rope sliding this one's marked too it's, it's probably going to be better possibly <laughs> Possi possibly okay possibly. possibly anyway we've got uh, all our wood ready to go got my Alton goods titanium grill ready to go and down there we've got the Makeup remover pad. It's, it's drenched in Vaseline with some uh, fatwood chips, dry leaves, and uh, all manner of burny stuff. Should be sufficient to cook a couple of steaks. Uh, and uh, beds are ready. Loads of room in there for the two of us. We probably could have brought the Alton Goods 3x3. Three three. I just didn't want to feel cramped. But uh, of course we've got the car here. We've got plenty of room in the car to leave stuff. Anyway, we'll talk to you a bit later when we start the fire. Okay, fire lighting time folks. This is the little uh, little what do you call it? Ferrisan rod and striker that came with the Pathfinder kit I had I bought ages ago. Okay. Oh, there it goes. No.
stuff his drawers are buying. Yeah, so all these broken bits of uh, concrete block were just sitting in a heap here. Hey. So we, I'm just talking to the video. Oh yeah. Um, so we just made a bit of a fireplace out of it, and we're just going to build up a bit of coals to cook our steak on. And a couple of nice bits of uh, eye fillet, or rib fillet, whatever you want to call it, and some herbs and spices to go on it. Uh, hopefully. We'll have a very tasty dinner. Also got a couple of small spuds to throw in the fire and uh, a carrot to have between us. The fridge was a bit bare at home so there's only two carrots left so I just bought one big one. And uh, I'm thinking about boiling up some rice with a couple of stock cubes in it just for something extra to have with it but we've already got the spud for carbs. So that'll probably do us anyway. Dinner tomorrow night will just be uh, backcountry cuisine, freeze dried. I'm having a beef curry and Andrew's having, what are you having? Um, tomorrow night? Uh, roast beef with veggies, I think it roast is. Roast beef and veggies. Let's see how good these backcountry cuisine meals are. These pieces here are just, just about rotted. They'll go up like a bomb. Right here, that's enough fire watching for you folks. You're probably getting a bit hot anyway. Well, good morning folks. We're up and Dressed, it was a bit chilly first thing this morning. It was coldest before the dawn, as the saying goes. The sun's up, you're about to get blinded by it. I'll pop up a couple of sunrise shots that I took with the phone, and also a drone shot. I put the drone up yesterday afternoon. Some silly bugger forgot to hit the record button. That'd be me. So yeah, we made a little table last night and uh, we'll pull that apart and throw all the bits and pieces away in the bush. We've, uh, we plan on leaving this place a lot tidier than we left it, except for this pile of concrete rubble that was here already. But we made use of, use of those blocks last night to make a little fire pit and this piece of wire was perfect to sit our grill on to cook the steak. So certainly not, certainly not my best effort, but between the two of us we got it set up so we had bucket loads of room for the pair of us and with protection from the wind because it was quite breezy when we got here. So anyway, um, back to our hot cuppa and then now I'll give you a shock and break the lens. Hello. Um, we're going to get back in the car and go and find another spot for tonight. Uh, we were going to wander into the bush and find a spot, but we were running out of time. We left home late, uh, which is why we ended up in this spot with the car. So we'll see how we go tonight, see what we find.
Okay, we're packed up. A bit slow packing up this morning. Packed up. Left the place tidier than when we found it. Not that you can really tell you. I don't think I showed you a before shot, but anyway. That pile of bricks is... If I had a ute, I would take that out with me, but I don't. Anyway, it's tidier than when we found it, and that's the way to do it. Off to the next spot, wherever that may be. We don't know yet. Just left camp, we're off to look for another spot now, uh, preferably somewhere where we can wander into the bush away from the car. Then there's always the worry about who comes across the car and will they leave it alone. But uh, that's always a risk you take, I guess. Thought I'd just give you a look at what we're driving through. Um, this whole area is pretty much like this. There used to be nothing in parts of these forests a long time ago. It's quite a drop off down the side there. Very pleasant driving through here. A lot of birds, probably can't hear them over the car. You can see the top of the bridge on the other side of the valley over there. You probably won't see it on camera. We'll carry on a bit further. Just poke that over the side out the window there. Stopped here to listen to the bellbirds for a minute. Seems to be quite a colony of them here. Closer to the road than we've heard them uh, this morning and yesterday. Okay, we've come back to our Y intersection that we went through yesterday and we're taking the other branch and uh, going to a spot that I do know to get to a spot that I think I know to get to a spot that we might be able to camp at, maybe. It's all very up in the air at the moment. So this is a spot you might remember from a few videos back we've just arrived here and Andrew, my brother-in-law travelling companion hasn't seen it so I thought we'd stop here and have a look As you go up the tops of the hills, it's like dry gum forest and you come down into the low points and you've got all this beautiful rainforesty kind of areas, flowing water. I filled up all my soya bags because I've only got a litre of water left each, but for some reason, I've hardly used the soya, and for some reason, it's uh, taking a hell of a lot of effort to squeeze barely a trickle through the filter. And I don't have my Grail Geopress with me, so I'm just going to have to boil the crap out of the water. Oh, 
Hi folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was a bit short. Uh, what I'm really excited about on this trip is I finally got to use my Mavic Mini. This is a DJI, no, no, can't speak, DJI product. Um, I've had it so long that the care package ran out and I had to renew it. So I've had it over a year and hardly used it because every time I took it out, it was I considered it too windy and I was very nervous about flying it. Uh, handled itself very well even in the in the uh, strong wind. It was a lot stronger up at the level this was flying than it was where we were down on the ground. Um, I was quite nervous. I had my brother-in-law Andrew watching it like a hawk while I watched the controls. But uh, anyway, that was good. You, got, you saw a little bit of footage of that. Hopefully you'll see more in the future. Um, I did take it on that kayak trip, but it was a lot windier on that trip than it was on this trip so I didn't, I didn't use it there either. Uh, anyway the uh, the second day yesterday ended up being just a bit of a exploration, a bit of a sightseeing tour for my brother-in-law. Uh, we both ended up seeing some stuff we hadn't seen before and uh, yeah there's a few or a couple of uh, new gates that have been erected um, so I couldn't get to the spots that I used to get to. And uh, that was a bit disappointing. Uh, I don't know why they block these places off. Um, you can still probably get to these places I was thinking of, but I, I hadn't been up there for so long. I don't remember how far it would be to walk. It could be a lot more kilometers than I'm prepared to walk. Um, anyway, that said, uh, we do have ideas on uh, other places to investigate. So anyway, thanks for clicking on this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.